mixing of styles and genders have also led to one of the world's most high-profile, mainstream new representations of male ballet. It all began with a radical reinterpretation of a ballet classic. This production redefined the public's view of the male dancer. It really ruffled some feathers. To be there in 1995 was just brilliant. I, I cried be there, watching you know. your ballet. Oh, did you? I did. Well, does the music do it? It's the music, isn't no, it? No, no, no. It was very yeah. much about how you represented the characters. Oh, ah, well, that's great. The feeling, I mean, at the very end, it was just, like, heartbreaking. I always had tears running down my eyes. When you were coming up with the idea, mm. your influences for this role. I mean, obviously, uh, you enjoyed the classical ballet yes. itself. Did you notice the change that the male dancer was going through? I think at the time of making it, I was very conscious of wanting to make strong roles for men. I felt that um, in the classics, in particular, they didn't get a very good look in, you know? No, they don't. But it wasn't all about showing the masculinity and the strength of the male dancer. I wanted to show that they could be many things. So within the sto that story, you get a different, you get different aspects of men. So you can show different sides of male dancing as well, the lyricism and the beauty, as well as um, adding in those, the, the stronger moments and also the more ungainly kind of movement. One of the big influences on the movement of the piece originally, I used pictures of Nijinsky, uh, which I'd always loved, photographs of, of Nijinsky, and, and we have him on the wall. Well, there's the classic you. swan position for, in our swan. Yes, that, exactly. Yeah. We do that all the time. That is it. And that's where that came from. When you talk about the costume and mm. how you wanted them to look and yeah. you know, how that... The uh, now famous fluffy pantaloons, pantaloons kind of material. Yeah, there's some here. There's is that some, right? Just there. Where these... I got out of the archives to show you. <laughs> well, this does feel a, little, like, a bit like a sh fluffy sheep. Yeah. <laughs> From a visual effect, when mm. you're watching, they did actually look slightly like feathers. Yes. But it's just slightly coarser and harder. The next day in the newspapers were pictures of Adam alongside Margot Fontaine in the swan costumes. Oh, yeah. You know, like the new swan. It was the swan, the image of that swan that captured the imagination of the public. I feel we played a part in, in that with the male mm. swans as well now. It's, it's an ambition for a lot of young men to want to be in this show. Well, because you know. your show was in the actual film. It was in the film, yes. Can you tell Billy Elliot that this flower is here? That was a, a great for us because it made us known sort of internationally a little bit as well. The release of Billy Elliot in the year 2000 had an unexpected yet tangible impact on the future of male ballet. For the first time in its history, the Royal Ballet School admitted more boys than girls. New male ballet stars have credited the movie as a key influence on their choice of career. And internationally, a stage musical keeps the legacy alive. What you've influenced by doing a film like this, and then obviously the musical, is that you've given boys the power and strength that ballet also gives. You've changed boys' lives thinking that this is acceptable. That's what Billy Elliot has done. Well, I would You have, no, I, I'm so sorry. I you have. Far. You really have. Why did the classical ballet have to come into it? I think it was the it was the classical ballet because he in the end had a dream of going to somewhere so different from where his, oh, his background okay. was. That it was so extreme okay. uh, the cultural difference. Um, and indeed there was going to be an automatic prejudice against it, that it felt that was more, going to be more interesting to, to explore. What's the amazing thing I've always felt about uh, being backstage in the, in the ballet is that you watch this, again, this incredible beauty and, and physical gesturing. And, I mean, it's just so... And then if you're in the wings and people come off and they go, oh, yeah. as if literally they've just climbed Everest. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? It's, they're just so... And then they pick themselves back and then go back on. Superstars, swap.